from Starbucks. And of course, uh, he was on the bus waiting for me so that he can follow me to the fucking, uh, to where I'm going. And uh, so the guy in the video that I posted, uh, what was it, like a week ago, and uh, who I said spoke to me, this is that fucking cocksucker who did that. He's the fucking same freak that uh, from there. So, of course, he was waiting for me, and look how he responded to me and shit. <laughs> he was fucking waiting for me. This motherfucker was literally on the bus waiting for me. Like, the gang stalkers got this son of a bitch to fucking... Like, dude, the way the, the level of trouble these fucking cocksuckers go to the fuck with you, man. And he's going to follow me to where the fuck I'm going, pretty much. Because I bet you, just just wait. He's going to go right to the fucking Starbucks. <laughs> he's going to go right to the fucking Starbucks. Yo, the person responsible for the operation is a complete fucking psycho, man. Like a fucking... Like, they should make a movie about that fucking son of a bitch. Like a complete fucking sociopath or psychopath or some shit. Like, just imagine the type of twisted warped mind that's behind this operation. Or like a motherfucker, man. He's like a, a comic book fucking villain or some shit. So, yeah, they got this motherfucker to fuck with me, man. They always get these people to fuck with me, man. These fucking dredges of fucking humanity and shit. Yeah, so we're gonna just find out where that son of a bitch is headed. As if we didn't know. <laughs> this guy playing games, man. It's like, he's coming... He's fucking with me and now he's trying to play games and shit. Yeah, these... The crazies out here, man. They're fucking... And yeah, so... They coordinate it so that he fucking is on the bus at the exact same time I'm on the bus. They coordinate that shit. He'll get, they'll get off the bus and then they'll fucking find me. And then wait for me and then follow me where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say that there's some real nasty elements to fucking living out here. Like, uh, you guys have seen the videos, man. Just imagine if you were in my shoes, how you would feel about the place you live. So, every, every fucking whack job in this county is, is just fucks with me. Like, every fucking low life. That's why I was like, look, man, you know, we should have a good attitude in life. I don't doubt that. I mean, but we have to be realistic about just how shit is in this world. So, we live in a world where shit like this happens to people okay like that's that's fucked up like it's fucked up that i have to deal with these fucking these freaks in the first place that's fucked up man you know if life wasn't hard enough if life wasn't hard enough now i have to deal with these some psycho some fucking mentally deranged psycho i have to deal with them okay and yeah so the son of a bitch is going right where i expect him to go to look at this motherfucker man <laughs> he's following me literally he's motherfucker and uh yeah he's gonna go to the fucking starbucks you know because that's where I'm headed. And there's that woman, probably one too. Anyhow. Well, if, uh, if all isn't lost, just, well, the only plus part is how stupid the people are. They're so stupid that we don't have to worry about them. And that's the only good part about the whole thing. At least the people that they send to do this shit are fucking retarded. So there's that. <laughs> so that assures that as, as fucked up as these people are, God made sure they were so stupid that we wouldn't have to worry about them. So their stupidity is our protection from these people. Oh, look at this bitch. This bitch is imitating me, man. I was like, you nasty, ugly fucking bitch. How dare you do something so fucking terrible? Nasty, ugly fucking people. And you see how she's imitating me and shit. Nasty, ugly fucking people, man. I was like, you nasty, ugly old fucking hag. You evil, stinking hoe. But look, uh, I deal with this shit every fucking day, man. Every fucking day. And uh, I can't have a good day out here because of it. These ugly ass motherfuckers, boy, they got a chip on their fucking shoulder, dude. These ugly people have a chip on their fucking shoulder the size of a goddamn fucking boulder, man. Hateful, ugly ass fucking people, man. Hateful, ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> and look at this clown. I told you he was going to the goddamn Starbucks. That son of a bitch. I was going to the fucking Starbucks, so of course he's gonna fucking follow me there and shit. That motherfucker, but think about it. Some twisted, 
hateful fucking psycho and some hate group literally coordinated all this just to have this crazy fucking follow me wait for the bus he waited he waited on the fucking bus man waited on the bus just imagine how much effort that takes how much effort that shit takes like the type of twisted minds of these hateful fucking redneck people, man. These motherfuckers be on that shit, man. And I, t and I tell people, these are the same sons of bitches that will fucking get together and start lynching people. Yo, the same mentality that likes these warped mind, these warped fucking people to fucking orchestrate all this craziness. Just because they hate you so fucking much. Like the level of hate, these are the most hateful fucking people i've ever dealt with in my goddamn life man i used to, i would have told my father that i'm pretty sure i have it worse than he fucking had it okay i was like yo you want to talk about discrimination dude this is the most hateful fucking place i've ever seen in my entire fucking life man like these people are spending large amounts of money and going through a lot of trouble to bring the hate into your fucking life man like they're fucking all about that shit like the fact think about it all the way from the bus to this like they get the crazies on the bus and then the crazies are literally waiting for you then you get on there then they get a wait for you to get off then they get off then they go to the places you're going to all of this so these people can be fucking nasty ugly and hateful all of that fucking trouble all of that just to be hateful just to be hateful that's why when you deal with these people, man, these people might look normal. They'll be eating their fucking, their little, their little meals and shit. These people be have some serious evil and hate dwelling in their fucking, their ass, man. It's like, you know, that, 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 it's like their body, whatever you see is just like that fake facade of a, it's like a suit they wear, man. On the inside, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at, man. That's why I was like, with well, these motherfuckers, you don't know what you're looking at. Because what you see on the, out, the outward appearance is nothing compared to what's going on in the inside. That's why like just with it whatever the fuck is happening on the inside you know what i mean like just like the hate part is such a big part of who they are that i think that it basically is who they are whatever else you see about them like their job or what they wear none of that shit really matters this is who they are that's why they are so obsessed with it it's who they are you know little bundles of hate and misery floating around in the world and uh, unfortunately people like myself fall victim to this these type of people that's why uh i don't think there's a safe zone i don't think it's a place where people like myself can live in peace because we don't really have that option it's always that it's always been that way though that's why i tell people i said throughout history especially united states history we've always had to deal with these hateful fucking idiots man and then we never really got past that hump always the hateful idiots always and uh, that's how it's been throughout history. Now, what is this fucking idiot doing? <laughs> oh my god. These people, these are some ugly looking motherfuckers too. Uh, these people need a, need a makeover. Anyhow. Well, I don't know. You know, to be fair though, they, are, they don't have a lot going for them, okay? Somebody took an ugly stick and beat the shit out of them with it. <laughs> ah. But anyhow, hateful, ugly ass people. So going back to the point that I wanted to make, as long as there's hateful, ugly ass fucking loser people in the world, we're gonna have to deal with some fucking shit like this basically, okay? There's no getting around it. Uh, these two guys, these must be the guys, man. They're the guys. See that? So that connected to this idiot. I guess these are the, the this might this guy could be handler for all the fuck we know man. This is legit handler. I always wanted to meet handler. I always wanted to meet handler. Uh, remember what handler told us? He said that he has a, he's a genius. He said he got he went to Stanford. He took their their IQ <laughs> test and he's a, apparently a genius. And uh, he's proven it by how how effectively he's destroyed by me psychologically. He's proven how smart he is because he did such a great job with that. <laughs> Yeah, boy, these people are smart. <laughs> but anyhow, I don't want to get distracted by this fucking idiot. Anyhow, so so we got Hitler's favorite or some shit working over here. I'm telling you, dude. Like, the handler. This is why... Okay, so look. Uh, and I told you guys this before. This is why, in the end, it comes down to these people being racist, man. The, the blacks... The drug addicts will be the guys that you see in front of you. And then you get the fucking Hitler's favorites, okay, over here. The Asians and the fucking 
Hitler's guy, okay, the fucking, whatever, look, so, the blacks will be, and the blacks and the Mexicans will be the first people on the line, and then you have, like, the handlers, who will be, it's all race-based, man, like, it, they'll be the dredges, like, if you're gonna get a white person that's gonna do this shit, he's gonna be a drug addict, he's on the front line, these people think they're, like, higher up in the hierarchy, I don't know why they think that, because they were fucking stupid, but I don't know, maybe they dress their stupidity up really well, okay, they talk about their test scores, okay, and let's not forget Handler, look, you know how Handler was bragging in the world about being a genius, in spite of the fact he was a fucking hack, <laughs> Handler, Handler said he's a genius, like, they all think like that, they all think that they, you know, they cheat their way through life, and they tell everybody they're a genius, and then certain people believe it, like, Handler was like, oh, I'm a genius, I was like, well, Handler, if you were a genius, it seems kind of outrageous that I outmaneuvered you like you were a fucking toddler. I mean, literally. I mean, you're the stupidest person I've ever met. But I don't doubt that you, you fudge some test scores and dress your shit up. And to hide the fact that you're stupider than the people that you're fucking pushing around. You're even dumber than they are, but you hide it well. You hide it well. So going back to that. So Handler produced no results. He's a complete fucking hack. And in spite of that, he still dresses it up and says that he accomplished so much. When I was like, Handler, you're the stupidest fucking human being that's ever fucking lived. Okay? And look, you took that situation. And it doesn't even fucking matter because win or lose, people still fucking think Handler or his type of people are the shit. Win or lose. Like, they still believe that moron is smart. It doesn't even fucking matter. That's why win or lose, it doesn't even fucking matter. Dumb or smart, doesn't even fucking matter. And uh, with that said, let me go ahead and close so I can go up into this bitch. I hate this fucking Starbucks. Like, literally, I don't even like Starbucks, okay? You know, Starbucks tries to sort of have this thing where it pretends that it's all liberal. And this would be the main place fucking discriminating against your ass and doing stupid shit like this. So let me go ahead and close out with that. 